All right, so this is new. So it looks like YouTube updated again. And so if you guys want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my videos, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that cog option on my channel page. And then you want to go ahead and check send me all notifications for this channel. Press save. And easy as that, you don't have to worry about missing out on any of my videos. And also, if you guys are on iOS or Android, all you want to do is go over to my channel and hit that bell. Once you guys ring that bell, now you want to go ahead and press OK. And now you never have to worry about missing out on one of my videos. Easy as that. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your host with the Monster Nene here. And welcome back to the channel, guys. This guy got a bounty on his head. And I take that food out in an instant. And in today's video, guys, I got some more GTA 6 news. Some things I want to cover. And, you know, some more rumors I want to bring up to educate you guys on the subject at hand. But before we begin today's video. Can we try to reach 3,000 likes on this video? If we reach 3,000 likes on this video, I'll do a backflip or two. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I upload the greatest GTA 5 videos in the whole Milky Way galaxy. But with that being said, let us begin today's video. Now, real quick, I just want to give you guys a little reminder that I'm doing a shark card giveaway on my Twitter, so if you guys want to go ahead and enter for a chance to get yourself some free moolah on GTA 5, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter, and that's it. Just wait till I tweet it out, and then you guys have a chance to get some codes for yourself. I'm trying to hook you brothers out. But anyways, if you guys remember, I made a video regarding GTA 6. Now, some of the stuff I talked about, if you guys haven't watched the video, is the location, the release day, and some rumor leaks that I was trying to address in that video. Now, if you guys didn't watch that video, I'll catch you up to speed real quick. Basically, the head honcho of Rockstar, Leslie, he mentioned long time ago how he wanted a game where the player can go ahead and travel to Liberty City, Vice City, you know, all the old GTA maps from the previous games all in one game. Either you take an airplane, a taxi, or whatever means to travel there. He wanted a game where all you guys can go ahead and travel around the world. Now, you know what's funny about this is I actually managed to find a map of how his idea will actually look like if it was actually drawn on the map. So right here, I'll pull it up. As we can see right here, we get to see... This whole world, this whole United States into GTA 6. Now, if you guys notice, all the way in the bottom right corner of the screen, we see Vice City. All the way on top where New York is, we see Liberty City. We see Los Santos. You know, all those familiar places that we already been in, in the game. Here it is on this map. This is basically what Leslie wanted it to be on GTA 6. So here we have an idea of how the map will actually look like if this was taken into development. Now of course if you guys want to know where the whole uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 progress is at right now, basically they're in the works of making it right now. They're just in that state of actually coming up with ideas. Now another thing that I managed to find while I was browsing around the internet was that Something that Grand Theft Auto wanted to implement was having a family system. Now, the way how this family system works is the main character or the set of main characters. Basically, you're going to have a family. Now, you guys are probably asking yourself, all right, Fernando, uh, Mike already has a family, but not like that. Basically, you have to take care of them. You have to pay bills. You have to do, you know, fatherly stuff, drive your kids to school, something like that. You have to actually take care of them. Something like Sims, if you guys are familiar with that game series, but not as serious as that. Just something based off like that to give you a general idea on how this is going to work out. Now, the family system does sound very unique. And, of course, the reason why Rockstar is doing something like this is they always have to, you know, surpass the last game that they made. If you guys compare GTA 5 to GTA 4, you will see that Rockstar made a huge, huge difference since the last game. So, of course, they're trying to implement ideas and things in the game to actually, you know, surpass the last one. And I can see this family system actually going ahead and doing something completely different than what Grand Theft Auto 5 did. Of course, this is a very unique idea. I don't know how exactly the family system will work out, but of course, it is in development. They're still in the progress. 
progress of actually thinking of how this is gonna work now another thing if you guys are wondering the game is speculated to come out on 2018 so if you guys want to go ahead and you know get ready for the game make sure you mark your calendars for 2018 i don't know when it's going to come out probably around november because that's the time where you know big old triple a games start coming out around that time but you know what 2018 sounds like a reasonable year for grand theft auto to come out but with that being said that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed today's video, then don't forget to drop a like. Let's try to reach 3,000 likes for a backflip or two. It'll be ever so much appreciated. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I upload the greatest GTA 5 videos in the whole Milky Way galaxy. But with that being said, I'll see you guys later and peace.